Caffeine and your body. Introduction. In which of the following is caffeine present? Choose one of the following options. 1. Drinks. 2. Food. 3. Medicines. 4. All of the above. Correct. Caffeine is found in some drinks, food, and medicines. If you drink coffee in the morning, will you not be able to sleep well at night? Select yes or no. Correct. The effect of caffeine is gone within four to six hours. Therefore, you should be able to sleep well at night if you do not eat food or drink beverages that have a high concentration of caffeine shortly before going to sleep. How caffeine affects people varies from person to person. Select true or false. Correct. The age, size, and sex of a person affects how he or she reacts to caffeine. People have different levels of sensitivity to caffeine's effects. John wants to limit his caffeine intake to 400 milligrams per day. He decides to drink two cups of American coffee and two cups of tea per day. Is he within his self-limit of 400 milligrams? Select yes or no. Correct. Two cups of coffee have 150 milligrams each for a total of 300 milligrams. The tea has about 40 milligrams each, that is 80 milligrams for tea. So his total is about 380 milligrams, which is within the limit. It is possible to die from taking too much caffeine. Select true or false. Correct. Deaths from caffeine overdose are rare. Caffeine is considered safe. A cup of coffee has 150 milligrams of caffeine. A male adult sets his limit at 600 milligrams per day of caffeine. How many cups of coffee can he drink per day? Choose one of the following options. 1, 4, 2, 6, 3, 40. Correct. When you count your consumption of caffeine, should you only count the caffeine you take in from coffee? Select yes or no. Correct. You should consider all sources of caffeine, including other drinks, foods, and medicines. Thank you for using Explain.